I mean, shoving's fine here, but it just looks like so Ace Kingish. Tonka, you gotta start streaming again. You gotta get that stream run good. Actually, I don't want him to start streaming again just because I think my people, a lot of them would go to him. I know that he's super popular. Um, villain shoves too wide too, so some of these spots I think. So it's definitely a call. Um, or not not that wide, but I've definitely seen some very wide shoves, uh, especially with ICM. Obviously, Fedor is very good. What's up, Yvonne? I hope you have some good luck today and have better results than your boyfriend who beat me at chess. Oh, wow. Oopsies. He's got a really high fold to three bet. I mean, fold to four bet. You guys saw it. You all saw it. I actually think that three-bet call is pretty interesting. He got me. He has a 75% fold to four bet though, right? So uh Asex loves shoving in these kinds of spots. Ooh. Oof. I think I'd rather just, um, in this spot, isolate heads up. We raised from the cutoff, cleaner was all in. <laughs> Ship the point three seven. <laughs> it's coming back. It's always a little bit of a needle when you get like quads with like two big blinds though. <laughs> I'm raising a little big here to, to show that I'm I'm not raising a, a, a loose range into this wrecking crew. Definitely calling here. Nice to win those. Just do a little eight dance. <clears throat> Benjamin says um, to, to answer the question about the bundle being good value. It's good value for any level player. And after you've gone through Ape Style Bundle, they also have bundles and seminars, BBZ. Yep. Huh. I honestly think that... I think I should have just called here. This near the money. Fuck. Woo. But then... I realized I run good. <laughs> um, I would have just called heads up because I don't think he's calling with like sevens. But then once there's that additional money in the middle, but then as soon as I shoved, I was like, damn, you know what? He's got like all those big pairs in his button flat range. So honestly, it, it was just a call, not a shove. But um, we like the result. We like the result. <laughs> so this is the pure bubble of, of this 5K. Hopefully someone's put up uh, the payouts because first place is $170,000. Pretty sick, huh? Whew. Sorry, Dinge Brinker. It's a little bit kind of, I don't know, backwards to be dancing and saying sorry at the same time. <laughs> but is it possible? To both feel a little bad that you bubbled somebody, but also be happy that we are in the money, winning pots. Any advice for a board sit and go player that has played 12,000 games and tired of it? All right, around 3%, but mostly six men. But good job, so just playing them when I feel to. Studied a lot, but just sit and go. So tired of them. Love your stream because no music. Hmm. That's tough because it sounds like you probably can't commit the time to MTTs either, right? I'm not sure about this flat. I mean, with ICM considerations, I do think that that I can flat fairly wide because I have the villain covered. I mean, there's just literally zero chance he has anything.
I mean, that's I'm fine with it. I got like, oh wow, sick. I was just fine with the fact that I got it. I got it a race with nice overlay, right? I'm thinking about right now my decision between check raising with my flesh draw and check calling. I think the small bet actually, for me, incentivizes me to call. We're supposed to be playing aggressive lines in general as chip leader, but I was thinking that I have two overs to the middle pair. Um, and we really don't want to check raise like the stack sizes are such that if I check raise to like six, he can shove. And then like, I don't want to check raise fold and I don't want to check raise call. And you kind of got to weigh the likelihood of whether or not they're going to four bet shove. King eight, three, probably going to play most of his range calling in position, but I thought about a bin bet, but then I thought maybe the betting range on the flop was just a little too strong for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna check fold. Final table time soon. Let's go. GG, fish 2013. Hey, small blinds better than the big blind. Fair enough. I don't even know if I'm supposed to call this. Like, maybe not. And then like, yeah, this board. Yeah, maybe I think the nine X is even versus button. He just opening so wide here, right? I was just gonna check pulled. Oh wow. I thought he was opening so wide in that spot too. All right guys, we've got a new product on bbzpoker.com. We have got charts in by popular request and demand. Something that's been brought up a lot by you guys is the need for an affordable product there. And we have sorted that out. So you can go to bbzpoker.com. For 13 bucks a month, you can get charts that have historically been priced in the thousands, and that's not a joke. So head over to bbzpoker.com and check it out. So my range here is very tight. I'm gonna be min raising. Definitely not fooling the nerd guy. We'll see what happens here. I even thought it was it was reasonable for him to have three bet folds. Uh, Epp says, oh, just like my notes were done by somebody else just going through shark scopes and also taking notes on hands. Super, I think with ICM, we're super like linear here. Yeah, he can't call anything. What? Can't even call that, but see ya. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait, Ace King suited Ken. Sorry. I didn't mean to say that. It's so cocky. <laughs> yeah. Malaki and I have had some battles. I'm a little bit, that, or I guess, sorry to the Greek people. <laughs> but anyway, we've had some battles. I'm a little salty at him because he's hard to play against. He's He's really good. This world we can't do anything here. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, yeah, I do think Ace King suited can race call there. I can just shove this button, actually. I played a hand up here that I'm not sure if I like anymore. <laughs> GG. Yeah, I played this hand. <laughs> Millennial. Oh, 
I believe with these stacks, it is more of a, like the, the gentleman's game concept. Now, a lot of people think you're supposed to bet here, but we're not going to make any pair fold, right? We have the nut king high. The only thing that's kind of good about betting is that your range is kind of like less capped. Oh, wow. I think with the two flush draws, I'd like to raise. <clears throat> Do something goofy, but maybe be drawn dead. There's definitely some chance that I should have just check call, check call. We'll look that up with ICM too. Man, I think I'm supposed to reship this. Like, I really do think I'm supposed to reship this king low. But I just don't have it in me. King two, four suited, I would make myself do it. But I'm just not going to do it. Okay. Good game, Miss Oracle. Four-handed now. We are guaranteed 78k. The next jump is the six-figure jump. Sorry, everyone. When things get like really exciting for me, sometimes I can mess up with the with the table switching. I absolutely have to do this. But what I'm doing is actually going to put like if he goes all in, I, I would fold. But now, like, there's enough to where I'm kind of committed. Yeah. That 60% of stack all in thing is a cool little play. It's a it's an actual thing with ICN. By the way, I'm sorry I got like old man. This is the first bullet, yes. I don't know what everyone was talking about. I guess I was on ACR for a bit. And he's gotta know that I just have to do this. Oh. That's that's only made me wonder. That's the only thing that made me wonder. I was like, dude, he's got to know that like with three bigs, I'm gonna be going nuts. If he has kings and I have king three. Nice. Like that's such a normal shove there too. Oh well. Nine one tower says, um, if you can rejam king four offsuit. No, it's like the way the blockers work. It plays really well, like or better than a lot of hands do versus a tight calming range and blocks well it, it's just a really specific icm thing that i was i don't think it i think it's more from the big blind anyway man i'm pissed about that i don't think the king four actually was a shove I'm glad i didn't do it <laughs> six figure score nice can't be upset on a day that I scored six figures I think again, King two just shoves this spot, even with the small ante. This isn't the call, I don't think, but three handed, there is less ICM though, for sure. Still just gonna shove. It may seem like I've played this ace 10 suited very passively, I have, but it, it, it's okay. You kind of can play this hand like that. Um, we're going to call one bet, even though we really missed the board. <laughs> Oof. It would be bad for a 5K if he's limp folding there. So you're hypothesizing that the villain has a hundred percent calling range. So they're limp they're limp they're limping with only Queens and Queens plus Ace King suited. Hmm. Yeah, I think that that hypothesis is really disrespectful to any kind of player, to be honest. It doesn't make any sense. Of course he has a limping range.
It's way better than... Man. Oh, well. GG. Freelancer got me. They're chopping it up. I guess they talk to each other. Um, all right, I'm out of there. Urgh.